So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about repo for all command. So these are the four usual repo for all command that I usually use during my work. So what repo for all command does is that, for, for example, let's say you have multiple repository. So instead of, uh, let's say you, if you want to clean up the changes in your local repository, right? Instead of going into each of the repository and do git reset one by one, you can use a repo for all command. So what it does is that it will git will actually go into each of the repository by itself and then do the git reset command. Okay. So right now, let's proceed with the example. So in my tutorial directory right now, I have driver repository and app repository. And so these two repository, I download it from here using repo. So first is the Linux driver repository and the second one is the Linux app. And this is the manifest file that I have used. And then I do a repo thing to download a Linux app and Linux driver into my local. Okay, so right now let's say, let's go to the app directory and let's say I'm going to do some changes. Right now if I do git status, there's nothing here. And I'm going to modify test.txt file. So I'm going to write something inside this text file. After that, I'm going to go to driver repository and I'm going to do git status here. There's nothing right now. And I'm going to modify the readme file. Okay, so right now I can do a repo for all negative C git status. So this will show the status of each of the repository that I have in my local. Okay, so you can see that it's actually showing us that this is the changes test.txt and the readme file. Okay, which we have modified. So right now, let's say I want to discard these two changes in both of the repository. What I can do is that I can do a repo for all negative C git reset negative part. So this will discard the changes in our local. Okay, so if you right now do a repo for all git status, it's actually saying that your working tree is clean for the both of your repository. Okay. So uh, actually same goes to the git clean negative fxd. So this, this git clean command, you will clean up your untracked file in your repository. So I'm going to show you again with some example. Let's say I'm going just to make some test file. Okay, so this is untracked file. After that, I'm going to change to the driver repository again. And I'm going to test one. Okay. So if you do git status, you can see there's an untracked file here. Right now, if I do repo for all negative C git clean negative F XFD, this will clean up all the untracked file in each of the repository that I have. So you can see it says removing test and removing test one. Okay, so this is how you use the repo for all command with a negative C option to clean up your repository. Okay. The next one that I want to show you is the repo for all negative C git tag. Okay, so this will tag each of your repository by giving this command. So let us do a repo for all git tag. So you can see that if I change to app directory, you will see this Linux version 1.0 is being tagged at this particular commit. Okay, so whatever latest commit that you have in your repository, you are being tagged by doing a git tag command. So right now I'm going to change back to the driver repository and you will see over here there's the Linux version 1.0 which is being tagged at this particular commit. Okay, so this is how you tag each of the repository by using a repo for all. Alright, so right now if I want to push the tag of each of the repository instead of going into the repository manually and push it, I can use this one so let's do it. So actually because we are in Windows, right, I cannot actually use this apostrophe symbol, okay? So I have to throw away this apostrophe symbol and let's do it. Let's go back to the root directory first and then do a git push origin. So right now you can see that it's actually showing you it's going into the Linux app repository and then it's pushing this particular tag. And also same goes to the Linux driver repository, it's pushing this particular tag. Okay, let's go to the remote repository and refresh and you will see right now there's a Linux underscore version 1.0 is being pushed. Okay, and over here you will see, go to the tag, you can see Linux version 1.0 is being pushed to this Linux driver repository. Okay, so this is how you use the repo for all command to perform git command in each of the repository. So actually when you uh, go to this Android web page, right, it's 
showing you that the command that you pass after negative C is actually evaluated through the font shell, which is slash bin slash h. Okay.